Hey, what's up? Justin here. And what I wanted to talk about today is how to achieve a goal. So the first thing you want to do when you're sort of setting a goal for yourself is you want to try and picture what you want yourself or your life to look like in the future. Humans are very visual creatures and you're more likely to respond to something that you can see and that's just the way it works basically. Now if you do this correctly, what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself having a slight sort of little tension in your chest. The way I describe it is it kind of maybe feels like you're just a little bit sort of unsatisfied with your life or you're a little bit discontent. And this is actually a good thing if you want to achieve a goal because this is what's going to make you take action. If you've got this tension in your chest and you're sort of sitting at home, you're just going to be tense and the way to sort of release the tension is to go out and sort of do something that sort of contributes to your goal. It's like uh, if you've heard of someone who's maybe very driven or very ambitious, you might think he's an intense guy and it's because they've got this sort of distortion between what they want the world to look like and what their world actually is like. So it's kind of like you're being pulled towards the goal instead of like you're pushing towards the goal. Goal setting isn't always just a sort of test of how much willpower you can exert. I mean, it can be, and that's definitely part of it, but that's not going to last in the long run. You want to sort of form this tension by visualizing the goal, and that way you're sort of pulled towards the goal. Now, the next step is you're going to form habits um, that sort of contribute towards that vision. Now, if you do step one correctly, like I said, it should be sort of easy to sort of do these little habits or these tiny little things that sort of contribute towards that goal. You can call it a habit or a system, but it's basically things that you do that sort of add up over time basically. Now the next step is to reward yourself when you do these habits. So if you do five minutes of sort of self-development that no one told you to do, you're killing it dude. Like you gotta reward yourself because you're sort of taking initiative to go out and develop yourself. You don't have to do that. So you gotta reward yourself. And if you do this correctly, it leads to the next step, which is sort of building momentum. So if you've got a momentum in a goal that you've got set in life, this is when you're just really just sort of enjoying life. This, hopefully you get those days where you just wake up inspired in the morning, you feel good about yourself because you're sort of going towards a goal and everything's sort of going forward. Now the last step to achieving a goal is to restart the process. So eventually you're going to lose momentum. That's just going to happen. Um, life's going to throw something at you and you're not always just going to be going up, up, up in life and just having more and more momentum. Eventually you're going to stop. Maybe what will happen is you'll sort of meet someone and you'll think, why do I want to sort of work on my goals? I just want to hang out with this person. And then, you know, once the initial stage of good feelings wears off, you'll realize that maybe you were happier working towards your goals and maybe that the reason they liked you in the first place was because you were moving towards a goal. Could happen like that. But anyway, whatever the case is, the best idea is to just restart the process. Restart sort of visualizing, get a little bit of more tension, form habits, reward yourself, and then back to momentum. It's kind of like a cycle that just happens with life, basically. So the last thing I wanted to point out is that it might sound a sort of little selfish or sort of self-absorbed to sort of set goals for yourself. But in reality, it's actually probably the most nicest thing you can do because the process of you sort of achieving a goal is going to develop your skills, you're going to be more valuable to other people, you're going to feel good about yourself, which is going to sort of in turn shine on other people, that sort of good feeling. And you might even inspire other people to go out and achieve their goals as well. So it's actually the nicest thing you could probably do. It is maybe sort of conflicting if you really tense all the time to your social life, but this isn't a video on how to socialize. This is a video on how to achieve a goal. It is important to have perspective that, you know, we're in this weird sort of spinning spaceship and you get in these metal boxes and you go out and try and achieve goals. But if you do it the correct way, you do it in a healthy way and you won't sort of damage the relationships of the people around you. So I hope you guys gain some sort of value from this video and I'll catch you guys next time.